In Acts chapter 9, we have one of the most significant events that takes place in the entire book, and that is the conversion of Saul, who had been uh, standing by when Stephen was stoned to death, and who had been on his way to Damascus with authority to arrest followers of the way and to throw them in prison. And he had an incredibly dramatic encounter with the risen Christ on the road to Damascus. He was knocked off his horse and made blind and was brought and was sitting in a house for three days, unable to see and fasting when the Lord spoke to a believer named Ananias. And Ananias came to the house and said, Brother Saul, can you imagine calling Saul brother? And he laid his hands on him and something like scales fell from Saul's eyes and Saul goes from being a persecutor of the church to a proclaimer of the gospel. But that leads to all kinds of issues. So our verse for today is Acts 9 verse 27 which says, But Barnabas brought him to the apostles and described for them how on the road he had seen the Lord who had spoken to him and how in Damascus he had spoken boldly in the name of Jesus. You can imagine if someone who had been actively acting as your enemy suddenly did a 180 degree turn and started saying, I'm on your side, that you might be a little skeptical. And this was what was happening with the apostles with Saul. People were questioning his motives. They were questioning the genuineness of his encounter with Christ and his newfound faith. And if no one had advocated for him or stood up for him, who knows if we ever would have heard the name of Saul of Tarsus. But Barnabas, who we met earlier in Acts, who is given the name Son of Encouragement, consistent with who he is, he puts himself and his reputation on the line to advocate for Saul. Have you ever had someone step up and advocate for you? Someone who took your side, who spoke on your behalf, who gave you a good reference or evaluate, evaluation or recommendation that helped you get into school or to get a job. What a difference having someone who will encourage and advocate for us can make. I encourage you today, see who you can be a Barnabas for, because you never know you may be helping to release the power of God in someone else's life.